In this video, we'll sketch a simple house to show how some fundamental tools work. This is the scale figure, and this is used to help you judge the size of your model if you're just sketching loosely. Let's click on the rectangle tool and make a square that is 20 foot, comma, 15 feet long. And notice that the 20 is the number that goes along the red axes. Now let's make a wing to this house. And we'll make it 25 feet by 10 feet. Now, notice that I didn't click in the dimension box. I just typed and the numbers show up there and hit enter. If the proportions don't look right to you, you can select and adjust them a little bit. Now I can't do it this way because of fusion or stickiness. And to undo what I've done, I'll click the undo arrow, which is on the standard tool set that you need to open. And that undoes it. I'll also erase this line because lines break up a face, so if you don't need them, then erase them. Now I'll push-pull this up 10 feet. Now I could probably at this point just push-pull this in now to adjust. Now I'll put the gable roof on. With the pencil tool, hover along the edge until the midpoint inference pops up. See the line? It's red, meaning I'm parallel to the red axes. Then I'll hover over to the midpoint there and slowly bring it back until it snaps in place. Notice that green dotted line. I'm parallel to the green axes. And now I can draw a line. I hit escape to end that line. Now I'm going to select this line and hold the shift key down to add to the selection. See the plus and minus sign that appears? As long as I'm holding the shift key down, I can make multiple selections and deletions. So I've selected this ridge line and with the move tool I'm going to move it up. See the dotted blue line? That means I'm parallel to the blue axes. If I'm not parallel I'll get results like this. Now let's put a door and window in here. With the rectangle tool, I'll click once and before clicking a second time, I'll type three foot comma six foot eight. Enter and that gives me a door three foot wide and six foot eight tall. I can also select it and move it. Now select and delete. If I want a window 
whose head is at the same height, I can take the tape measure and make a construction line there, and then a construction line and click there. And then, can be a little tricky, and the guidelines do tend to mess things up, so you want to delete them when you don't need them. But there's a window. Incidentally, if I wanted to make this exactly centered under that, I could have taken the tape measure and then clicked there and then selected and moved the center right there. And if I wanted to get rid of the door, I could just trace one edge. If I hold the eraser down and slide it over the lines, it will erase everything. And I'm going to undo that. Edit, delete guides. Let's just delete this whole face. You could use something like this as an underlay for an interior perspective if you're manually drawing one. But I'm going to put some colors in there. Notice how the color appears different shades, and that's because SketchUp automatically shades the appropriate walls. Now I'll put some flooring in there. And there's a lot I can do with this flooring. If I right click and say texture, position, I can rotate. the direction that the texture should be. Now I'll grab her and move her into the house. Look for the pop-up that says on face so you know she is on the floor. And then she gives you an idea of the scale. One more thing. Let's drag a component into here. And there's our simple house.